So I know that you are also the faculty leader and coordinator for the Human Development and Family Studies Poverty Simulation at CMU. Would you mind explaining how that works or what that is? Yeah, so poverty simulations, there's a lot of different ones out there, but the one that I do specifically that you're talking about, um, the best way to describe it, as my students have done, is it's a giant sad game of Monopoly. That's <laughs> 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 the best <laughs> phrasing of it. So what we do is we set up an entire room, like a, like a gymnasium, uh, in the form of a town. So you have banker, you have a uh, a grocery store, a daycare, a police station, a college, a factory worker. It's a real town. That's so and cool. then we take up to about 80 people and we put them into families and give them new identities. And for two hours, you have to play the role of being a family who lives in poverty. Oh my gosh. And you have to do all the things that you would normally have to do. Like you have to uh, go to work. If you don't have a job, you have to find a job. Um, if you go to school, you go to school. If you have a baby, we have these cute little baby dolls that they have to carry oh, around everywhere with them. Sometimes so I cute. Do two babies at a time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you have to experience all these things and all these people are set up so that they are living at the poverty line, not below it, but right at the poverty line. And it's amazing how simulations can bring about the same feelings. It's a very safe way to teach people about how do people who live in these situations actually have to deal with some of the more structural barriers. For example, um, we have a thief in the town and a drug dealer in the town. Nice. Right? And they get it. That's a really fun part to play. I really, I enjoy stealing stuff in the simulation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Once again, it's a safe place to do it, right? Um, mm -hmm. For example, let's say that you're at work, somebody breaks into your house and steals your stuff. If you're a family in poverty, what are you gonna do, right? So it just, it teaches students and people just that empathy, a little bit of that understanding, and it's a very safe place to teach those skills. And it's done in a great interactive way. So yeah, so that's what the, the poverty simulations are. They're a really great experience. That's so cool. I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah, you're welcome to. Thanks.